back on it. Mike, how are you? Hello, sir. How are you? I'm well. Uh, what in the name of hell happened? Oh, are we? T- uh, in- We're what talking are about, we talking uh, about uh, Philip Brunell. Oh, Mr. Brunell. Well, you yes. know, t- listen, biz- it's, it's all business. In business, it's all, you know, some things work, some things don't. I understand, you know. it's A lot of it's about timing and, and things. Um, you know, not everything works out. Not everything works out right now. I mean, so, you know. I, we, I know we, you're. We, we had a good meeting. We had a good meeting. Uh, a few good calls, uh, and it just sounds like it's not going to be the time right now, so he's canceling. Obviously, I was a little disappointed, but, th- you know, worse things have happened to me. Uh, Mike, Mike, he- Michael, Michael, did you get too close to the Snortex? Did you well, get too close? Yeah. Did you get too close? I know you can't say too much and you're a professional, but did you get, did you start sniffing the smelly man on his phone that he was pulling Hogan's? No, no. Phil is surprisingly you know compared to what people say phil actually smells uh if, if not neutral maybe i would say even smells good oh, no you know, I, 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 I i'm sure <laughs> no I, i'm sure he's very sniffable i'm i'm talking about like did you maybe like find out about the wwe stuff i know no, you can't no, no, say no. no i phil and i have a great relationship uh we ended ended things on positive terms and we're, um, you know, I, I, I'm gonna, I have other projects I'm pursuing, but you know, you never close a, a book in this type of thing with someone as interesting as Phil. The story and the documentary could only get more interesting down the road. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna remain in touch with him. I'm sure there will be more and more interesting things emerging in his community, and I've got other stuff I'm, I'm, I'm moving to. But there's no hard feelings for uh, Phil. And uh, the door on my side remains open. Um, and, um, you know, that, that's it. I mean, so things, you're moving, things, you're moving, you're moving on to, from Phil for now. The project is canceled. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, of course. Okay. And for, uh, you know, I, I, I think there's an interesting story and it's not good. Phil, as much as you guys may want him not to be, I don't know who's on the call or whatever. Phil's not going anywhere. This it's, man is a staple. He, he is an evergreen staple of the entertainment community. Um, so You don't think um, that people will eventually get bored of his shtick of uh, begging? No, it looks like it's just getting bigger and bigger every day. Um, you know, I, I, I've never seen anything like, uh, as during my time in the, the Snortex or whatever they call it, I've never seen anything quite like that. I've never, you know... You know, he'll be live, and then there's like 10 other channels live broadcasting his same thing. Yeah. That are getting, you know, it's like, it's crazy. I've never, I've never seen anything like it. But it's interesting. I would love to be back into the, the Vortex or Snortex or whatever it's called maybe later this year, maybe in many years, maybe in five years. But I'm not giving up on it um, entirely, but not everything works out. And I'll try again in the future. And if it yep. never happens, it's one of those interesting things I did. I met with Phil. I met with his wife. It was a good meeting, and I'll always have that memory. He'll assume, but he, the thing with him is that what I think with Phil, and again, you don't have to comment because I understand. Is I think he thought it was going to be like a propaganda piece for him. I don't think because I saw you. I mean, this is nothing a hidden secret. I saw you tried to get in contact with Derich. Yeah, I see. Like sure. yeah, that. That I those told, are. Th- I told Phil. I told Phil. I, no, I don't. I disagree. I think he he was he was very aware from the beginning. This um, I was very clear with him as I would be with anybody in this type of situation. Like, hey, if I'm going to do this, it's a, you know, it's going to show things that are funny. It's going to be show things that are interesting. It's going to show things that are potentially negative. So he was bought into that. I think what happened. It was just not good timing. I mean, he had some other things going on that are personal, as well as um, you know maybe the the way it was uh, portrayed into the public, how it was and when it was was maybe not the best timing and everything. So hmm. I mean, this so why, happens. Dude. Yeah, I, why I would he sign on to begin with if it wasn't the best timing? So, do you mean that the fact that you? Were- Announced it on this show, kind of that he didn't like that. No, no, no. Okay. I just, I just, I think I, um, you know, just the nature of 
there's so many people that feel so strongly about him that whenever you hear the word documentary, there's all these assumptions of what that could end up looking like and, you know, the rumblings of what it will be versus what it is. And it, it just it just creates an environment where it's hard well, to stay productive a, and creative. As a person who's followed Phil now for probably about a decade, if not more, this is his thing. It's never good timing. Whenever he was supposed to go on a podcast, he's on, which he's done one and it was disastrous for him. It's never good. It's always timing. It's either timing or to protect his family. Those are the two things that I. Well, usually I mean, those see. are there. Are, those are important. It, this is you're talking about a man who he has a he's dedicated. He sticks to a schedule. Um, oh, oh, we know. Not just, he's not. He's not just going on things left and right, and that's why you want him so bad. So love him or mm. hate him. The fact that he's not agreeing to everything is what makes the exclusive so exclusive and that um, it almost builds the interest. So I can't blame him for being selective, for being discerning. Um, I think it's an intelligent move. And I think that um, it makes you keep talking about him and wanting to wanting to get whoever can get with him um, is even that much more interesting. So I get it. I would have loved to do it. I had a. Uh, I had a lot of uh, had a lot of fun things planned for it, but um, you know, you, you can move on in life, and then you, mm. you try again in the future. Can but, you can can, um, can you instead make a romantic film about his May first, twenty sixteen experience? You know, that's not as much the genre I'm going for at this time. <laughs> I, uh, but I'm sure there's some audience for it. Um, but so, I will say, I'll put it on record. Everything was done professionally. There was no, you know, I didn't spend, ten, I mean, I, I took a trip out, but that's the risks. These are the small hundreds of dollars uh, of risks you take in any business thing. If you were buying a company or selling a company. Or, yeah, well, of course. There's development not, costs. People act like, oh, my God, I spent months and months. It's like, yeah, but this happens. This is called business. You start things, you stop things. He's I could, not the worst I guy could have world. told you. I could have told you from like, if you came to me, Mike, like saying, "Hey, I'd like to, you know, do a documentary on DSP," I would have told you, been like, "Hey, you could try," but yeah. he probably. Can, can, can we clear up a few things that are just going around that I'm sure you can just shut down instantly? Sure. One of them would be the idea that you would still do a DSP documentary without his consent. No, I just I don't have any interest in that. There's plenty of those. Yeah, um, exactly. I just uh, and I think he even said it. That just it's not the professional. Uh, I would ever want people to see me as like, oh, I have a subject, and then like I'm gonna blackball so that, you. Because then it, then it's just basically. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh, it's just basically another video essay at that point. With yeah, more I mean, production I'd probably value. I'd be able to put some production value, do cool interviews, and, but that's just not the nature of how I would handle my business. Yeah, yeah, so there's no there's no shot that you would, you know, there's, there's stupid rumors going around that he signed a contract and you could hold it over his head and say, well, you have to no. do it now. Yeah, there were some assholes oh, oh. out there trying to say to me on Twitter, some of his devout dent detractors, that they, it's still going to happen anyway, so stop. And they told yeah. me to eat a cucumber. I'm like, no, he's not going to do the documentary without Phil. Like, th th then he, he doesn't have access to a lot of different information. It's stupid. Yeah, no, I would do that, and, and you know, I, I, I value my relationship with Phil, and I think it's fair to him, if there is going to be a documentary on him, that he, he would he would be heavily involved. So that if it does ever happen, that will be the terms in which I would do it. All right, Mike. Uh, well, yeah, I, one last thing just before you go. Do you want to talk about what you're doing next, or are you going to keep that under wraps? No, I'm a, I, you got you to gotta, you gotta, uh, surprise it, people. It, it, it will be exciting. I think um, if you are looking forward to the DSP doc, uh, you will definitely look forward to uh, this one um, nice. and a few others. So, um, yeah, I, and um, um, I would say um, check out DSP Gaming, tune in, become a member, tip. Uh, you know, he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a legendary content creator um, that lasted the test of time 16 years and going. So... Um, uh, I check out DSP gaming, but that's yeah, all. Yeah. Yeah. No one begs like Phil, but thank you, Mike, for coming on. I appreciate it. And I appreciate your professionalism as well. Have a good night. Thanks guys. Have a good one. Thanks, man.